water, but on shore. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna guys, look at everybody and I'm just gonna be like, you know. Everybody take a guys, long rest. Everybody take a long rest. You guys, you know, you should listen to me more often when I say we should do. So Why? Grim, whatever your whatever your age was before What's my age again? Thirty years. You got back twenty from Cthulhu. Yeah, I know, right, chat? That was kind of fucked up. <laughs> so, it seems like it worked out well for at least one of us, Rom. But I'm not chasing around some tentacle prawn that literally tells us I do this just for fun. Um, and then I want okay. to destroy you later. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. What's your situation? Who you got, who you got to go kill? I don't know, some dude, right? And some dude is probably being controlled by big douchebag. So if we kill big douchebag, we take out d dumb dude. We figure out all of our problems. Bam done. Know where that is? Because we haven't even been find able to find the one person so far. Yeah, because we're spending all our time killing little people instead of going after the big baddie. Over here, like, come on. Let's tear down some armies. Let's do something about it. But I'm not going to sit around and pretend like we're not doing nothing. Are literally not doing. As I've said, I'm, I'm all ears for where to go. I haven't heard any other suggestions so far. Well, I just took Grim into the abyss to get him his life back. So you're welcome, number one. <laughs> Can we never discuss that again, guys? I, I want to forget about it. Oh, uh, Grim, sorry. What's that? You got a little something here and here and here. Grim just walks off. Grim walks off. Switch oh, right. okay. I guess he's not going to clean up his face in the water. Sure. <laughs> you just walk around with that. <laughs> Spent a long time in the water. I don't need any more wetness in my life. As I, he knows he's, he's met my party before. I think if we, if we, if we find this, this brother of his, we'll find my party. However, I know, wait a second, I've been kind of keeping track of all of you and everything you guys have said since you guys got here, but it sounds like you, lady, are trying to find somebody to, an, a nemesis of yours. It's almost like we have a whole log of what people have said. <laughs> and, and you over there with the red, I don't know why you're here, but I'm you here over the there... Fun. And he points at the or she points at the orc. I don't remember really why you're here either. You don't talk much, but that dragonborn way over there, he's got some issues. So we have wh what do we want to do from here? I would well, like to I guess, find my party. I guess you know if Dolgax doesn't think that we're leading him in the right direction, I'm gonna go find your party. Wherever that may be. Go find the party. Where the party at? And now, Grim, that you have your life back, you can spread Most your it. wings. <laughs> You're still ten years old. incorporeal wings. You're still ten years older than you were. Yeah. Just enough time to hit puberty again. <laughs> As you guys are here and you guys have been talking, like this whole thing just happened to you with this monstrosity as you guys look around in the forest jungle shoreline is still blighted and dead shit I saw neither and it is increasingly darker now definitely evening that definitely took quite a while well, Grim is like looking back like aren't we gonna head back to camp I'm sick of this beach the worst place I've ever been in my life. I thought you like walked off. Well, I'm shouting from the distance, being like, why are you guys still standing there? Hopefully you don't get jumped by yourself in the woods then. <laughs> Yelling. I'm gonna go with... Just look around at like everything like literally falling apart around us and being decaying. Like, yeah, seems like tentacle guy's real good for this place. 
Yeah. And I'm gonna start like walking too. Okay, so Vilgax starts to walk off towards the camp that he was at. What are the other two of you? Yoder? Rom? And there's nothing else to do here. Yeah, Yoder will just... Walk along. Yep. I'm going to be looking at my stone. Cool. Uh, so Rom follows you guys as Ket, as Ket kind of pulls him along. Um, and she explains to him, like, yeah, I think we should really find my party. That's really... I think it's the best for uh, everybody at this point. As you guys walk up towards deeper into the jungle, you leave the blighted dead for like jungle behind you, like shoreline behind you. But yeah, you could if you want to. I did that once. It wasn't very fun. <clears throat> Peter remembers. And as you guys walk... I want the brothers to fight each other. And, like, from our perspective, it'll look like this amazing, huge battle. But then every once in a while, we'll change perspective and just zoom out. And it just looks like they're slapping at each other. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> like, one, one's got the other one in a headlock. Nuggy. <laughs> See, how just powerful can this thing be brothers. if he has direct counterpart? <laughs> As you guys walk into back up the hill towards the jungle, towards the camp that you guys were just at, hmm. the jung the, we'll call it the jungle. The jungle seems to go on forever. You keep walking. You should have been back by now. Uh, can I try using my finder's goggles to locate creature on the leader of the camp? Yeah. On the leader? Yeah. Is within a thousand feet? It is. What is the thing on this? Wisdom check. Examine. Oh, that's that's a different thing. That leads to... Just listen under spells or under the goggles. I don't remember. There it is. Yeah, a thousand feet. You get no ping on the leader of the camp within a thousand feet. Okay. Cue the Stranger Things themes. <laughs> and with Grim taking a quick little break, we'll take like a two minute break to let him do his thing and we'll be right back. Cool, I got like six more picks. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Mm. A little pizza prep before a potluck thing later. Yum. Damn it. Um. Not nah, pregame that shit. Peter, don't don't take this the wrong way. Yeah. How do I say this without offending you? <laughs> oh. Th that's two disclaimers. Just don't worry about offending him. Just adding <laughs> LOL to the end. That's true. Wait, do you watch football? Okay. Like fantasy football, like you're just doing it for fun? What? What? Is that even an actual question? Like, you know, like fantasy football? Yeah. But why the fuck have my... I never, why have I never been in the league with you then? This is the fourth draft I've done this year. Why have I never been in a league with you then? I don't know. That's fine. We don't talk about things. No, yeah, that's not true. We talk about things, just not. <laughs> just now, draft starts in four minutes. <laughs> the buddy, that was uh, draft started at two. <laughs> We're all back. Are you all ready? Or you want to? Got a couple, need a couple minutes, Peter. I'm good to be all. Shit. Oh, that's why I did that. Fuck, I fucked it up. Damn it. Damn, chat, we have a little pizza. Yeah, we are going to be done. Hard stop at 4.30 today. If not, like, before that. We got some other stuff we got to take care of. <clears throat> all right, we're all here. Peter, you do your thing. Popping it out when you need to. As you guys walk this jungle forest like place so you know it starts to get darker and darker and darker 
And Vilgax is going to tell the rest of the party, something's wrong here. Can I see under the ethereal plane from here? No. Something's very wrong. We're not back. We're somewhere at else. Least at, at least at this very second, like you tried right now to look, mm. and it, nothing really popped up for you. As you walk through this forest, jungle. Um, this is it's okay. I'm I'm good. This is my stupid. Like I don't even care much about this draft. I just chose all the hot players. Perfect. <clears throat> But as you guys walk through this jungle, that darkness that came from the sea before is extending into the jungle. And as you guys walk, you, you notice the foliage and everything around you start to get blighted and die. Almost as you guys walk, it, it follows you. Is the death following me, damn it? So is this your tentacle guy after we went for a visit? Looking at all like the foliage and stuff around us. Talking to Rom. Oh, what? Sorry. Is this your tentacle guy? Pointing at like everything falling apart around us. You know, I'm you not sure. You can give an insight if you'd like. Okay. Let's insight. We're insightful. Is that plus three for me? I think so. Insight plus three. And that is a 13. Good. With a 13, you kind of like look at it. <clears throat> to you, it looks similar to what it looked like before. It's hard to tell if this is exactly him. Could be. Could be something um, similar. I look at Vilgax and I go, you know, in my experience, well, 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 in my experience, it it, it might not be. So we may or may not be supposedly trying to help the thing that's actively destroying the continent. <clears throat> well, no. No, I I know that first, you know, we're not, we're not, look, there's pathways of life and different. Um, Daddy Tentacle, he's kosher for now. Maybe not later, but later is a different conversation. Currently, Daddy Tentacle number two, the yellow king, whatever. Dude, gotta kill him. And I think honestly, that's what's causing all the issues that we have. I mean, you with your issues and Yoder's missing people and Grim's self esteem, like, <laughs> cats, whatever. As They're abandonment all issues. <laughs> As you guys are walking into the dark jungle. You do see a moon start to rise. Oh, thank God. Bad moon rising on the right. Everybody give me an insight check. Within the group, as you guys stop to discuss and just have that conversation you just had. Perception check, excuse me. Perception. Oh, oh, well, wait. Perception is the same as insight, so 20. <laughs> The first highest roll of the night. Nine. Oh, no, wait. That's not me. What? That was me. Another natty Mine 20 didn't even with a show up. Two. It literally just <laughs> had a little word saying rolling the dice. Oh, wait. Now it showed up. Yep, now it's there. It took like five seconds. Awesome. You um, know my favorite line from tonight? <laughs> Do you watch football? Don't take offense. <laughs> No, you. I know you watch football, but I meant the whole fantasy football aspect because a lot of people don't don't like that. Yeah, my first fantasy football team was called Romier's Talents. No shit. Yeah. Mine is my. I have one that's called Get Swifty. Uh, my current one, the one that I just did, was the Mankato Dirty Danzas. <laughs> nice. And I also have Rick and Morty's. 
And I got I Team Garcia. Show me that's... what you got. I have not one. Uh, okay, with all these perception checks, you guys, Yoder, you are focused on kind of what Ram is saying right now, uh, not paying attention, but everybody, as the moonlight comes, rises and shines down, almost as a moonbeam onto all of you. Moonbeam? Um, is that a um, hippie tick? It is a hippie. Rom, Vilgax, and Grim, you get a glimpse out of the side of your eye. Oh, yeah, I know. No, I got it. <clears throat> and you see almost decaying flesh where Ket is standing, like on Ket's face as the moon hits. One as of my other... And as you turn to look at her, she's the same cat as she was before. Yeah, um, I remember my other characters saw some funky stuff like that. <laughs> I just forgot till now. True. Cat's trash. Told her she can't be trusted. That's part of the reason why Svartal snuck in a second time after Illyria caught him trying to rob Cat. And, and if I recall, you guys are just absolute jerks to people. That's true. <laughs> Nobody. I don't know. We had a very good, nice, chill bath under the moonlight together. It was very nice. <laughs> As you guys are still using that sword after he lost his hammer. That's true. Right. Anyways, back to this campaign. <laughs> So that happens. You see that. You yeah. look at her. Everything is fine. The guy uh, looks around and goes, something's very wrong here. I can't contact the other planes. Grimmelberg's like, yeah, everything just seems to be rotting. And isn't the camp supposed to be, like, right fucking here? It's like a big camp. You can see it for like a mile away. It's not even a clearing for this area. That's the thing. We've been walking too long, and I can't even locate the leader or anybody else. Well, is there any strange ongoings? Can I get any residual magic detection? What are you? What, sorry, what are you trying to look for? Just oh, that's see? another seven. Um, just like a residual magic thing that's happening currently, so like an arcana check for 17? like tangible. Yeah, and just um, seventeen plus six, whatever that be. A lot. Okay, perfect. With that, you start to feel. You look around, and this is. It looks familiar, but you, again, this is you've been walking for way too long. You should be there by now, residually magically. There definitely is something <clears throat> we oddly magical about where you're at, this specific area path that you took back. Um, I want to try and like walk like from now on in stealth. Okay, give me a stealth check. All right, and I got expertise in stealth. So hopefully, good. I do. Sure do. So Go while he's room. doing that, I'm just going to look at the other people and go, guys, wow. I'm getting some weird like, better. <laughs> magical aura about this place. It doesn't feel right. And then I'm going to like look around at everybody and I'm just going to be like, it just something is off. And well, maybe go, you should call Tentacle Daddy Wait back. Wait a minute. Where's Bill Gax? <laughs> Maybe we should call Tentacle Daddy back right and tell him that his Uber sucks. Well, a lot could have happened while we were down under. Okay. Wherever you oh, are, Bill Gax. Down under. Um, My passive. I can't see him. I know that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, hard, hard to tell how long you were down there. Something definitely seems... It feels later. I'm, about that. I'm draxing it right now. I can't see them, therefore I'm invisible. <laughs> That's true. 
Um, but do you guys keep walking? Are you are you still standing here? What are you guys doing? Um, Yoder, you seem to have the best um, ability to go through difficult situations. And since we can't obviously find Vilgax at this point, what do you think we should do? Yeah, Vilgax uh, disappeared basically from you guys out of, in the end of the darkness. My passive is 13. I cannot see him. Nope. No idea where he went. Anybody else's passive higher than a 19? I don't think uh, so. I think mine's 15. Yeah, 15. Nope. So it seemingly, Vilgax, you guys, were, you guys were there and like you guys like turned and then Vilgax is gone. And you're like, oh shit. Vilgax oh. is Batman. <laughs> Just use the bat signal. I'll, I'll be there. I do have my ever bright lantern. I would like to apply a shape similar to a bat with a piece of paper to the front of my ever bright lantern and shine it into the sky. I don't think we want to draw attention to ourselves, Grim. <laughs> He's the one who just keeps walking around the jungle yelling and doing all this other shit. Yeah. Nothing's killed me yet. It's probably my favorite. What do you I mean? You're the only one here who's died, supposedly. Well. Nothing's killed me yet. This is the whole point for your little hand shenanigans, remember? No, I thought I was dead, but clearly I'm not. Well, at least part of you is. Oh, yeah, weren't we going to slice that off? We're gonna evil if dead. Necro Daddy would have showed up and like not offered to heal me and try to take me over. Maybe. Yeah, well I well I got Water Daddy to do that for you, so obviously Necro Daddy is useless. So maybe chopping off your hand wouldn't be like the worst thing. Well then I just don't have a hand. Well we should have probably chopped it off first, then got right the now. underwater daddy. If underwater daddy was concerned about it, then he would have fixed it. Well, I mean, there's other job. there's it's other daddies him. out there we can ask. Needed. Dexterity check for me, Grim. Dexterity? Yep, we're going to see how good this bat signal is. All right. Uh, 24. Ooh. With your blade and your parchment and whatever you're trying to build it out of, uh, yeah, you make a bat looking piece of paper and you slap it on your ever bright light and as you hold it out and dangle it it kind of resembles a, a bat in the sky that's a real good shadow puppet you did there real good this reminds me of the time that i hung out with that bitch who was like oh the ever light the ever light <laughs> uh you guys are still standing in a clearing in this seemingly getting darker and darker and darker and darker jungle. Well, supposedly, all-powerful squid face there put us on the path to find the brother. No. Somewhere well, where the, the hell we are. Well, what if the brother, wherever you are, Vilgax, what if the brother, I'm gonna dancing lights, <laughs> what if the brother isn't, or is here? We'll try looking at Hogwarts again. What if our perception is being fucked with by some kind of magical being? Because it wouldn't be the first time that happened to me. Yep. Yeah. So, Vilgax is not anywhere near you guys. You can't hear him say anything. Um, it is now currently Rom, Ket, Yoder, and Graham standing in a clearing as Vilgax has seemingly disappeared. Um... There is a bat symbol in the air currently that Grim is dancing with the bat in there. Uh, and... Oh, I got you. I got you. I'm going to take a sip of my flask and look at Yoder again and go, so what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> 